Good morning guys, it's Thursday the 20th of May and here we are for our 10th phonics lesson. Now just like before, you are going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. So if you don't have those with you, go and collect them. But I am sure now we all know what we're doing so we're raring to go. Right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is going to look at those tricky words. Now we all know what's going to happen here. You've got to shout the tricky word out as loud as you can before Miss Haytner. Are you ready? Here we go. So what's that first one? Fantastic. It's the. Off we go. Two. I. No. Go. Into. She. He. We. Me. Be. Was. You. They. All. Are my her well done guys that was fantastic right let's move on to our new ones right are we ready because we've also learnt some new ones recently and I wonder if you can remember them as I write them can you shout them out for me here we go. Brilliant. Well done. That's have. The word is have. Are we ready for our next one? Amazing. Well remembered. That one's like. They're both tricky words. We can't blend these words. Right. Are we ready? Moving on. Here's another one. Oh, Mr. Atkinson will be impressed that you've remembered that one. The word is some, right? And if we've got some, I bet you already know which one I'm going to write next. That's right, come. The last word is come. Fantastic, well remembered, guys. Right, okay, so now we're going to play a game. Now, most of you will have played this game at some point during phonics when we've been in school. And we're going to have a go at playing it now. So, our job is to read the word. Once we've read the word and we know what it is, we've got to decide, is that word going to into our treasure chest? Is it a real word? Or is it a made-up word, a word we've never heard before? Is it a pseudo word? And if it is, it's going to go in our bin. Okay, so first up, can you see the gold coin? There it is. Let's have a go all together at blending this word. Are you ready? Here we go. Eh. All. Oh, should we do it one more time? Eh, oh, Well done. The word is help. Now, have a think. Tell your grown-up. Is help going to go in our treasure chest or our bin? Fantastic, amazing. It's going to go in our treasure chest. Amazing. Are you ready? Here's the next one. Right, are we ready? Here it is. Let's have a go at blending this word all together. 
Are we ready? First one. Y. Oh. Oop. Oh, let's do it one more time. Y. Oh. Oop. What word is it? Yolp. Amazing. Yolp. Hmm. Have you ever heard the word yolp before? Tell your grown up. Is yolp going to go in our treasure chest or our bin? I don't think I can hear you shouting loud enough. Which one is it? Fantastic, amazing, of course it is. It's going to go in our bin. Here we go. There it goes, in the bin. Right, here we go. We've got a new word. Again, let's blend it all together. Are you ready? Ch. Eh. Oh. One more time. Ch. Eh. Oh. The word is. Chell. Chell. Have you heard the word chell? Chell? No, I haven't either. So where's it going to go? Into our treasure chest? No, of course it's not. It's going in our bin. Amazing. Fantastic work. Right, here we go. There's another gold coin. Are we ready? Can we blend it? B. A. Well, one more time. B. A. The word is bath. Of course it is. Bath. Now, I wonder if you've heard this word before. Brilliant. Bath. I'm going to have a bath. Of course, it's going into our treasure chest. Great work, guys. Right, are we ready? There's another gold coin. Let's blend it. J. Oh. Mmm. What's that word? Jump. Fantastic. Now, where's that going to go? I think it's definitely going to go into our bin. What? No? Really? It's going in our treasure chest. Are you sure? Well, I trust you. So there it goes. Fantastic job again. Right, here we go. Here's our last gold coin. I wonder which one this one's going to go in. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's blend it. Uh, mm. What's that? What's that word? Ring. Of course it is. Now, where's it going to go? In the bin? In the treasure chest? What do we think? You tell your grown-up. Of course I can hear you shouting at me. It's going into our treasure chest. There we go. I wonder, can you count up with your grown-up? Which one's got more, the treasure chest or the bin? Fantastic. That's really quick maths. The treasure chest has more. Well done. Right, our next job is we're going to have a go at doing some segmenting. Now, we know what segmenting is. Segmenting is where we take a word and we break it apart into those sounds, those phonemes we can hear. And once we've done that, we can write the grapheme that represents that phoneme. OK, are you ready? So what's going to happen is, just like before, Miss Haytner is going to say a word. And then we're going to break it apart. We're going to kaching it, segment it, count how many phoneme sounds we can hear. Then we will write the graphemes for those phonemes. Are we ready? Here we go. Okay, so the first word is paint. The word is paint. Can you say that word? Oh, I don't think you're quite saying it loud enough. Shout it at me. Go on. Paint. Amazing. Well done. Right, now we know what word it is. Can we break that word apart? Can we segment it? Can we count how many phoneme sounds we can hear? Are you ready? Let's do it. Paint. P. A. N. T. P. 
paint. One more time. Let's have a go. Are you ready? P A N T Paint. How many did you count? Me too. I got four as well. I wonder, can anybody tell me what's the first phoneme you can hear in paint? Amazing. I'm going to write that one down. Paint. I wonder, what comes next? P A. P A. Oh, now, how do I get A? Can you tell your mummies and daddies? What two graphemes make the phoneme sound of A? Well done, it's an A and a I. Come together to make our vowel digraph of A. Right, p, a, what's the next phoneme? P, a, n, well remembered, n. Right, let's go back to the beginning. P, a, n, what's that last phoneme? Fantastic, t, t, t. Well done guys. Right, let's go back to the beginning and blend it all together. Let's see if we've managed to spell the word paint. Here we go. P A N T Paint. Fantastic job, guys. Right, are we ready? Now it's your turn. Again, Miss Haytner's going to say a word. We'll segment it together. We'll break it apart into those phonemes. Then it's going to be your job to have a go at writing the correct graphemes down. Are we ready? Here we go. So the word is shelf. Shelf. Let's let's break it apart. Let's kitching it. Sh. Eh. All. F. Shelf. Have you got it? Press pause and have a go at writing that for me. Well done. Have you done it? Here we go. Can you shout out what you've wrote for me to help me spell the word shelf? Here we go. Sh, e, o, f. Right, I've got it. Sh, e, o, f. Shelf. Does yours look like mine? If it does, well done. Are you ready for the next one? Right, are we ready for the next one? The word is think. Think. Let's segment think. Let's break it apart. I, n, k, think. Right, can you have a go at writing that word for me? I'll say it one more time. Are we ready? Think. I, n, k. Press pause and write that for me. Have you done it? Fantastic. Right, can you now tell me what to write? Because I don't know how to spell the word think. I'm going to need your help. So who can shout out the first thing they've wrote? Well done. Think. What's that? Next year, brilliant. I, mm. Now this is where it becomes tricky. K. There's three ways we can write that. It could be just a C. It could be just a K. Oh, I forgot about that one. It could be our constant digraph. But well done, you're right, it's just the K. Well done. Are we ready? Let's blend it all together. I, N, K, think. Does yours look like mine? Well done. Right, our final word that we're going to segment is spark. 
spark. Are you ready? Let's break it down. S -p -ark. Spark. Press pause and have a go at writing that for me. Well done, have you done it? Spark. Now I can hear sp ark. Spark. Does yours look like mine? Fantastic. Right, okay. So our last job is that we're going to look at some sentences. But don't worry. Miss Hainer's going to do all the writing. I think it's time I did some work. So, I'm going to write a sentence and then you've got to tell me if I've done it right. That sounds very simple, doesn't it? Right, here we go. So, my sentence is The frog jumps in the pond. I know, it sounds easy, doesn't it? I thought I'd picked a good one. Here we go. Should we count how many words in that sentence? You count with me. The frog jumps in the pond. How many words is it? Six. It's only six. This is going to be so easy. This is going to be great. Right, here we go. The frog. Now, you will tell me, won't you, if I make a mistake? Thanks. I knew I could trust you. Right, here we go. The 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 perfect the frog frog the frog jumps jumps mm, that was tricky j oh ps jumps the frog jumps in, 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 in the, in the, oh, what's that last word? Oh, can you shout it at me, boys and girls? I think I've forgotten. The frog jumps in the pond. Of course it is. The frog jumps in the Pond. P oh. Pond. Let me quick. Let me segment pond. P oh. Mm D. Oh, I've got it. P oh. Mm D. I've done it. There we go. Look at that. That's amazing writing. I'm so proud of myself. The frog jumps in the pond. Done. Can I have my golden ball now? What? It's wrong? It's not wrong. I've made mistakes. No. Surely. Oh, no. Right. Okay. Well, you're going to have to help me get it right, because otherwise Mr Lancaster won't be very happy, will he? Right. Here we go. We best start from the beginning. The... Now, I know that's right. I've spelt it right. But I'm missing something. What am I missing? Shout it for me. What's wrong with the? Oh, I've forgotten my capital letter. Of course. Every sentence needs to start with a capital letter, doesn't it? That's better. I'm sure that's the only mistake. It's not. Oh no, let's read through them. Are you with me? The frog. 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 Well, I've spelt that right. The frog. Now, this should say jumps. Here we go. Ch. Up. S. Jumps. Ah, I see. I have made a mistake, haven't I? What's missing out of the word jumps? Can you tell your mummies and daddies? Right, so now you know it, can you shout it to me so I can make it right? Thanks for telling me. I've missed out the 
Mmm, in jumps. Here we go. J, O, M, P, S. The frog jumps in. I, N, in. Well, I've done that right. Oh, yeah, I see. I think I've forgotten something, haven't I? What is it I've forgotten? I've forgotten my finger space. I need to go back and sort that out. The frog jumps in the. The. What? I haven't spelt the word the correct. What's wrong with it? Of course, I've missed that E off the end. Thanks for telling me. The frog jumps in the... Now, this should say ponds, and I'm sure it does. P -o -m -d -s -pom. Oh, I see. I've not got it right, have I? <sighs> right, let's start again. How do I spell the word pond? Can you shout it out at me? Pond. Oh, thanks. P o N D Pond. Right, there we go. My sentence is finished. It's still wrong. Why? What am I missing? I've got a capital letter. I've got finger spaces. Everything's spelt correctly. Oh, yeah, of course. What's missing off the end of my sentence? Can you tell me? I'm missing my full stop. Right, now it's done. Let's read it back. The frog jumps in the pond. Amazing. Thanks for helping me, guys. Right, well done, guys. That was a fantastic phonics session. I had so much fun playing all those games with you. Now, don't forget about Spelling Shed. It's really great and you can have so much fun playing the game. Also, don't forget about Active Learn, where you can practice reading all those books and collect those gold coins. Now, also, in the email to your mummies and daddies, there's a pack of some activities for you to complete. Now, I hope you have a really good go at them. Now, take care and I'll see you real soon.